And good evening, everyone. I'm Brian Roach. And I'm Kim Lemon. The district attorney hopes that an autopsy tomorrow will give some answers about the boy's death. News 8 Harrisburg reporter Portia Johnson spoke with people who live near the boy's home. On Monday, neighbors continued to add to the memorial on this front porch in the 2100 block of Green Street. You're not supposed to do that to something that you birthed. Deja Bellany didn't know eight year old Gerard Tutko, but his death is still painful for her. Me being a mother. Why would you let a child live in something, live like that? I don't care what type of condition, what type of mental, how, whatever. I don't, I just don't care. Police and Dauphin County children and youth were seen leaving the house where Gerard was found dead. Police charged his father, Gerard Tutko Sr., because they say he knew his son was dead but didn't say anything until the odor became too strong. They say Tutko towed his wife and she called police. The DA says the eight year old was living on the third floor, but his body was found on the second, and he believes he's been dead for several days. After walking into a room like I did Friday night and seeing the horrible conditions uh, that the young man was forced to live in, we want to see you know, how the other children were living. The DA says the eight year old and the other children in the house suffered from disabilities. He says children and youth had some contact with the family prior to the boy's death. As of now, we're trying to review exactly what contact Dolphin County Children and Youth Services had uh, with that family. Bellany is questioning the role of the child's mother. The child has a disability. I'm pretty sure he's kicking, screaming, fussing. You haven't heard that in a couple days. So why haven't you questioned that? A lot of questions, and investigators are working to get the answers. In Harrisburg, Portia Johnson, News 8. The DA says the father could face additional charges after the autopsy is finished. Right now, he is charged with endangering the welfare of children, abuse of a corpse, and concealing the death of his son.